Madison's Irish 2000 guineas. Jerry Hanna to call them. For the first classic of the year, they're off in the Tattleton's Irish 2000 guineas over a mile. Well away was Cinema and Horse with the Nose Band disputing the lead with Rebel Tail. Close up on the inside in the first table colours is Fort Myers and in the blue cap prominent is Royal Lytham as they settle down in these early stages. Fort Myers takes them a long track, half a length back by Royal Lytham as they head for the elbow. Soon to straighten the sixth and Vatican City and Cinewan. Free Solo and Rebel Tail is next and they're followed by Siskin. And after Siskin, straightening up towards the final five and a half furlongs is Armory and then Fiscal Rules. Lope Fernande and Monarch of Egypt is the back marker passing the five and continuing on towards the halfway stage in the Tattersall's Irish 2000 guineas in the lead is Fort Myers and Michael Hussey tracked the length back by Roy Lytham and Emmett McNamara then Cinewan and Ronan Whelan sharing third with Vatican City and Porik Beggy as they head for the three free soloists next and Rebel Tail pink cap halfway back is Siskin and then Armory in between horses with fiscal rules and pulled out to the outside is Lope Fernandi and then Monarch of of Egypt, they're racing on towards the final two furlongs. Fort Mars is pressed by. Royal did the one from the rail. Here with a sweeping run is Lope Fernandez and Cinewan in between horses. Angled out is Siskin. Then Armory as they race to the final furlong. Lope Fernandez hits the front. But here comes Siskin on the near side. After them is Cinewan racing up towards the finish. And it's Joe Lines has pushed button Siskin who's drawing away to land the first ever classic for Colin Keane and Joe Lines. Vatican City is second. Then Armory, Lope Fernandez and fiscal rules. What a moment, and Jerry Lyons and daughter Kerry celebrate. Siskin has won the Tattersall's Irish 2000 guineas under Colin Keane in what was a pretty dramatic race, you'd have to say.